So what's the easiest, fastest, most effective way to install carpet in a bedroom just like this? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down the stretching pattern you can use to get into this. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take a hook knife or linoleum knife or a stair tool. I'm using a linoleum knife in this one. We're gonna go ahead and crease the carpet onto our set wall on the texture, basically splitting the room into sections and we're gonna do about six feet of it. Next, we're peeling it back. We're gonna go ahead and trim the carpet down with our knife. Watch those fingertips. Don't cut yourself and then blame it on me. Once we cut all that down, we're gonna get that excess out of the way. We're gonna tuck it in and we're gonna be good to go. Now, while you're watching me tuck this into place, if you wanna get into the carpet and flooring industry, the easiest way to be profitable with the quickness is by doing carpet repairs. And if you're interested in earning $75 to $125 per hour doing really basic carpet repairs, I'm gonna show you how for free. Head over to the carpetrepaircheatcode.com to find out more. Now, the wall I just trimmed and tucked, this is the opposite wall of that, roughly six feet down. All the way down, we're gonna kick it on with our kicker and lock it onto the tack strips. Now, super basic, you can get a kicker at any of the big box joints for about $80. You can get them used on eBay for about 50. And then they got like these throwaways. We'll do some videos on those too, talking about the pros and cons on that. But in this one, we're using the kicker straight from Lowe's. I believe we picked that one up. And once we crease that on, we're gonna go ahead and trim that carpet down, bust out that linoleum knife, and tuck it into place. This is gonna make sure we got a nice, tight, width stretch of the carpet, and it's locked on, good to go. Oh my goodness, could we pick a more boring topic to figure out, but that's okay. We're gonna get through this here. So we're gonna finish trimming out that wall there. Once we get that lobbed off, we'll take our knife, finish tucking it in, and Phase one is done. Let's go on to phase two here. This is the closet and the entryway, and we gotta speed things up, because this is just, whoo, too much talking about carpet here. So we're gonna kick on the closet, we're kicking on the entryway, and these are basically our set areas. And by the set area, I mean, you don't have to get crazy stretching it into place. You just wanna get it locked on, trimmed, tucked, because we're gonna do a hard stretch on the opposite walls, getting the room nice and tight. So we're working our way around. We're gonna go ahead and trim and tuck that, trim and tuck this. Now, half of the room is completely done. Check this out here. Boom, boom, going through the closet. There's our entryway. And just to the right there, that's where we actually started. So good, half of the room is done. Now, this is the wall opposite of the closet and the entryway. We got a couple of heat vents in the way, so we're gonna make a couple of release cuts there. So when we're stretching, it doesn't pop the carpet back up when we get up to those heat vents and have a disaster. So we're gonna go ahead and make our corner cuts. I have other videos showing how to do that, but you don't need that. You just, you'll figure it out. Just cut out those corners there, you're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and get a kicker and we're gonna stretch this whole wall on. This is the opposite of the doorway and the closet there. Work our way all the way down, get a funky beat going in your head. So when you're kicking the kicker, just boom, 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 boom. Get that SpongeBob beat going on, the life is good. Man, that was a horrible beat there, but look, man, it's a long day, I'm sorry. So once we finish stretching on that wall, we're gonna go ahead and once again, get that linoleum knife, hook knife, and we're gonna crease it all the way down, boom, boom, boom. Bam, everything is locked on, good to go. Now let's go ahead and this is the wall where we first started. We're gonna come back to right where we left off. There's a heat vent there. We're gonna start there and we're gonna work our way down to the wall we just stretched on with that good hard stretch there. Just tap it on, push it down with your thumb. Tap it on, push it down with your thumb. And while we're doing that, we're pushing the tack strip into the backing of the carpet so it locks on. And then when we crease it on, it's not popping right back up. Everything's locked on, life is good. Let's go to this opposite wall. We are almost at the home stretch. But um ting now we're going to go ahead and stretch on this last section here grab the knee kicker we're going to go ahead and work our way down there once again just get that funky beat playing in your head tap it all the way down there look at that man Woo, man little tiny bedroom cheap carpet almost there ah everything is good Everything stretched on. Now we just have to finish trimming this in and get that bread. Now, if you're a DIY type, you ain't getting no money. You're just getting the reward of having your room done. But once again, we got to speed things up because this is just getting dragged out way too much here. So we'll work our way around, slice and dice, cut it in, and claggity clack. There's the final product there. Thank you so much for tuning in. Comment below with any questions, and I'm going to catch you in the next video.